now time for our case. We're here to check out if the, the potential killer's car is here. Or at least the guy who sold it knows what's up. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out alright. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Goddamn rain. Soaking wet. Tuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Can we go inside? Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Great. <clears throat> well, he could take a walk. We'll investigate. Let's look at the tire tracks first before we jump to conclusion. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. <laughs> oh, yeah. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. More than likely, yeah. Okay, we just teleported to the other side of the table. Hmm. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Speedo. There's obviously t footprints underneath that. Hmm. So our car probably went over here. Yep. Few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Hmm. Something in the air. Gary, comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. I don't trust this guy. Me neither. So far... 
we got a good gist that he probably does know about the killer. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Hmm. This could be paint. Blood. Never mind. <laughs> now why is there blood here? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Acid bath, I guess. No, oh, I need my glasses to inspect our right. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. So wait, why does a junkyard need an acid bath? Hmm. Okay, never mind, that's why. <laughs> One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Mm -hmm. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just I get knew you it might have ended like this. Finish you off. <laughs> we might die here. I gotta pay attention. Got all these quick time events. Gotta gotta make sure I do this right. Fuck, I messed that one up. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Will do. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Oink, Next, oink, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. <laughs> Spill all of it. You will scare me, Mr. CSI. Man, you this ain't, ain't CSI Detroit, all right. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? What crazy motherfucker? You out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Oh, so we were right then, okay. False plates. Mm -hmm. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now, that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh no. This is a bad time for our Shit, not now. trip kicking in. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Oh no. What the fuck was that, man? That was a bad time to have a trip. Holy shit. Turn around. <laughs> oh, God, man. We could have died there. We could have got thrown into the acid bath. Oh, man. Holy shit. I think...
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Eggs should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. The only guy whose name is on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. 
You never give up, do you? The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery in Hor- Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further out. Thanks. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery. Take it easy. The dead don't mind. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this.
bet you can't do that. Nothing but a slow poke. <laughs> Come on, loser. The construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. Jordan's going too fast. He never what waits you for doing? me. You're coming or not? I think you went down here. to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. John, wait for me! Get a move on! Holy cow, he's crazy. We could break our necks doing this. Ta -da! I am scared. If he can do it, I can do it. Whoa, this is really scary. Seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Foot. 
My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. <laughs> 